Pax Boys. We use it for our Pax goals. Every month we have a different Pax goal, and this month we have Pax Boys. If you have, if your name is on here, that means you are re you are recognized for having a Pax voice. Look, Gavin. <laughs> All right. Or your just... sister, I mean brother, Gavin is on here, and her cousin, Gracie. So those are people that we know that were recognized for using Pax Voices in our building. So what is Pax Voice? Can you tell us what Pax Voice Voices? Like going through the going through the hallway without talking, so we don't disturb other classrooms. In the gym, we use packs so nobody gets hurt when we're when we're playing. Right, Vicky? Let's go show them. Let's go show them the packs. The packs for So, our see more is things packs things we want to see more of, like. Having packs hands, feet, and bodies, and following di directions. And do you want to hear more kind words, more positive comments? And when the music, music, music's on, we want more talking instead of less talking when we're not supposed to be. And more movement, laughter, laughter. music, and energy. And energy, fun, fun and happiness, and loud. It should be loud when you when we're in PE. And these are the things you want to see less of in PE. We want to see less hurting people and arguments and running into people and splats. What's a splat like? When, when you're not watching where you're going and you run into somebody, that's a splotch. All right. We, and we want to hear less, less, less things like mean words and talking when the music's off, blurting out, yelling, bullying, and arguing. We should, and there should be, there should be no, no hands on others or hurting people. And, do you, and people should always feel le feel less sad, angry, upset, left out, in pain, mad, unsafe, grumpy, meanness, nervous, sleepy, bored, cold, cold or sick. sick. Okay. And what? And and, the, and we we have something for sleep. Every every class there's 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 teams of days the classes are on. And there's spleens, and whoever, and which class has has the least spleens each each week gets the Pax trophy. Yeah, tell me a bit about this trophy. You, whoa, surprisingly <laughs> light. So we get it for being for being. We get it each class, and it's our good behavior. It's the gold standard PE champion. Um, we get it. We get it for for having the least spleens every week of PE. Um, this week it's me and Victoria's class and Miss Charis. We both got tied, and, and we want our brains to grow, right? We use packs in the lunchroom so people don't get messy and and so there's it's a happy place to eat lunch at, right? Mm -hmm. And our teacher reads us a book when we go in the lunchroom every day. We want packs makes it so it's quiet so everybody can hear hear the book while they're eating the lunch. We we all sit. We don't we don't go walk over to other people's ta tables. Tables. We stay in our seats and, and visit quietly. We eat our lunch without making a mess, right? Mm -hmm. And if we do spill some spill something, we clean, clean it up. up. And yeah. 
And when we're done with our lunch, we dump it into the trash cans and dump our milk if we still have any. Okay, let's go to the library now. Um, have you written anyone a toodle? Mm -hmm. She always writes me a toodle, me a toodle when she sees I don't have one. That's very kind. What kind of things do you say in your toodles? I tell her that she's been a really good friend. That's a good toodle. Anything else? We have toodles. We have toodles so we so you can let our our classmates know that they're one appreciated and that they're they were recognized for being PAX leader. People and it says where who wrote the toodle to who? So it looks like Catalina Catalina wrote wrote one to Allison. And we and we use packs in our hallways hallways so so we don't disturb other classrooms that might be working. And what kind of things do you do in the hallway? We walk up to the li to the library or it's down to PE or we go back to our classroom. And what are things that you do to keep, um, keep it nice and quiet for the other classrooms? We keep up our, we keep up our, packs, our packs voices and we have other students like these posters. Like, let's see, this girl named Paisley made one that says, Zero in Choices equals packs leaders. So we want to be be quiet in the hallway so other uh, so if there's another classroom that would be be working we don't disturb disturb any of the other kids that are working. We use these are our rules when we're playing wall ball so we stay safe. One must hit with a closed fist. That means you can't you can't you can't hit the ball with a flat hand. Two, no specials, no waterfalls, no babies, and no rainbows. You guys don't have to go through the rules. You can just talk about how this helps on the playground. How does this help you on the playground? It helps us know how we can play the game and so you don't get hurt. Yeah, how we can play the game safely. And this is our PAX vision charts. You know, this, it all, but just talk about this is all, but this is the, the good the things we want to do more, and this is the stuff we want to do less. Like we want to see. Can you pick, can you each of you pick two of these things that you think are maybe your favorite things that you want to see more of? Well, we want to see more kindness and following the rules. And we want to see, hear more positive cheering when we're in sportsmanship. Like, and no, and no, like, trying to make people get out just so you can be and say, oh, you're out now. If two people are arguing, they're both out. And what we want to do more is safe playing and including everyone and feel more safe and fun. And we want to see less fighting and cheering and cheating and definitely want, we want it to be cheering for everyone. So girls, can you talk about the mural over here? Can you show them like what, what, what you guys did last year? Last year we had a PAX I think first graders and kindergartners drew pictures and and got painters to paint them. And it's our PAX mural. Mm -hmm. it, it, and these are, it says the things that PAX is. Help, peace, happiness, and productivity. The kids draw pictures of how they, they thought PAX affected us. It made us 
happier, gave us more friends, and made it fun. Can you guys tell me what is your favorite part of the Pax Good Behavior Day? A better workplace, more friends. Mm -hmm. It makes it ma Pax makes makes our school a happy place to go to, that we'll be glad glad to wake up and go to every day. So, what is your favorite Granny Wacky prize, and why? Um. Sitting so, on her desk. Before you answer, I want you to remember to put that question in there. So, my favorite granny wacky prize. What is that for? My favorite granny, our favorite granny, granny's wacky prize is sitting on her desk and doing our work because it's really fun. We get to sit on sit on our desks and put our feet on chairs and and have like our work on our clipboards. Really. <laughs> so, what does it mean to be a PAX leader? Start with this. Remember, to be a PAX leader. To be a PAX leader, it means to be a to to have to make our school a better place, so it's easier for people to work, quieter, less people getting hurt, and it gives us friends. Great. So, can you talk a little bit about, um, have you talked to your parents about the PACS program? And how, and how did you talk to your parents about the PACS program? Well, I told my parents, I talked to my parents about that it makes it quieter for them because I have a very, very, very annoying brother who's always getting in trouble. So, it might make it quieter in our house and uh, a little bit more peaceful. How about you, Vicky? So when my brother and sister were gone at my grandpa's, I told my parents that PAX helps us learn and make a lot of friends. Well, what else can you tell us about the PAX program? It... Makes school a good place to go to, and it's it makes us makes it a peaceful place to go to, go to, where you can do our work without getting without getting interrupted and be able to do it peacefully through peace. You were telling me about on the playground how it helps. Can you talk a little bit about how it helps on the playground? It helps so we don't get hurt. So we start with that on the playground and. And that we follow rules like no, no swinging on your bellies, no jumping off the jacks, no tag on the bark chips, yeah, no, no doing dangerous things like jumping off of high places, or going on bar, going on bars that are support like first to support the playground. How does Pax help kids solve problems on the playground? Well. It makes us understand what went wrong and how we should and how we should fix it. And it helps and it helps us solve problems because with packs there are less less bullying and more friends.